Hey college algebra student, in this video we're going to talk about chapter 2.3 models and applications. The first part will be applications, uh, most commonly known as work problems. So to solve work problems, uh, we have a four step process that we can follow. Um, the first two is about uh, identify quantities, some unknown, some unknown. So first we identify the known quantities, and then we also identify the one that we want to find, the unknown quantities. We would assign a variable name for it, like x or y, or whatever that you want to do. And then if there is more than one unknown quantities, we would want to find a way to write the second unknown in terms of the first. And then the most important thing of solving an application is to model it with an equation. So the equation would be try to uh, interpret all the words that uh, is uh, described and then write it in a mathematical symbol using multiply, add, or whatever. When you, uh, if you are just establishing a model, so uh, writing an equation will be what you want to do, uh, modeling the situation. If you are to solve the unknown, then you would go ahead and solve the equation and then write the answer in complete sentence with unit. Okay, so sometimes we stop at four. If your goal is to establish a model, sometimes we have to solve an unknown. That would be solving step five. So example one is an example where we would just need to write a model. So look at the situation. So it's about a manufacturer. A manufacturer uses $250 per unit to produce an item. So if you want to produce one, you spend 250. If you want to produce two, you do 250 times two, etc. The expense for monthly salaries is 3300 per month and $300 per four utilities. So these expenses are not related to the number of unit you produce, but you have to pay anyway. Write the equation. So, so look at the question here. They do not want you to solve anything but they ask you for writing an equation. So that's, that, that means establish a model that would model monthly costs. So at the end of the, um, the question, your goal is to establish a cost, an equation that calculate costs. So that's uh, what we call by modeling. So you do not really solve anything, but you want to have an equation that's give something called cost. C equal to what? So cost is usually what uh, involve what you spend, spends, right? So uh, uh, most of the time for manufacturing, it would be basic cost that is not related to how much you manufacture plus um, cost per units. Times the number of units, right? Which is X. This is the number of units that you don't know, but you are giving it an identity, uh, giving it a variable uh, x. So this is the total cost. And uh, do we know, is there anything that we don't, we know? Basic cost is, they actually tell us it is not 250, but 3300 and 300. You have to pay both. And then for the cost per unit is 250. But this is for one. If you're manufacturing X item, you multiply by X. So this would be the model or what we call an equation that give us the monthly cost per, uh, per month for the manufacturer. So uh, combine the first two together, we have 3600 plus 250 X. That give us an equation. And uh, it's, this is called modeling. Example two would be solving an equation. So let's look at this. A phone plan charges $40 basic fee. So whenever we deal with cost, we always have basic fee. And then 20 per device for 4 gig data per line. So anytime you add a new line, it will be $20. So again, look at the per device. So this is something that you need to multiply for the number of device. A second phone plan does not charge basic fee, but costs $30 per line and also four, four gig data per line. You can see that the data rate is the same, but one is $20, the other is $30. But for the second plan, you would have to pay a $30 basic fee. Uh, no, you have to pay $30 per, 
per line. There's no basic fee, zero. So that's part of the question. A, we have to find a model. So we don't solve anything, but want a model. Model for total cost. Cost is basic plus the variable cost, right, per line. So let's say, uh, should we use x as the number of line or number of device? Or device, right? So basic is, was it $40 for the first plan? And then uh, we add $20 for per line, so it's 20x. That's the first plan. What the, mod, the B is find the model for the total cost of the second plan. So we use the same cost. Basic fee is zero, but um, X is number of line. It's the same. So, but it is $30 per line. So we get that, right? Find how many lines. So this is the first two is modeling is just writing an equation. This, this one C is to find number. How many lines? So the number of line is X. So that means we have to solve for X so that the two plans equal in cost. So if the two plans equal to two in cost, that means 40 plus 20 X because the number of lines is what you want to order, so they should be the same, right? So let's solve it. So that means 40 is equal to minus 20x here, minus 20x on this side, so it's 10x. So divided by 10, divided by 10, so x is equal to 4. That means if you order four lines, the two plans will have equal costs. If a family needs five lines, which plan is better, assuming that, they, assuming that they do not exceed the data limit of 4 gig? Okay, so if I have a five lines family, so that means when X is five, so how do I know? So I can use C for the first one. So, well, we can find the cost for the first plan, which is 40 plus 20 times five, right? So that would be 20 times 5 first, 100 plus 40, 140. For the second plan, we use the model to calculate. It's zero, so it's just 30 times 5. It is 150. So which plan is better? If assuming they don't exceed, the data plan would be um, first plan is 140, it's cheaper. So first plan is cheaper. So that would be a better deal if you're ordering five line. If it's four line, then they are the same. Okay, so that's how you um, compare this cost. And for C, that's how you solve. Okay, example three. I think this would be example Three, yeah. Paul has twenty thousand dollars to invest. His intent is to earn eleven percent interest on his investment. So the total interest that he wants from this investment is eleven percent for this. He can invest part of his money at eight percent interest and part at twelve percent interest. So this is all he has, but he can split into the two parts so that one of it is 8%, the other is 12%. How much does Paul needs to invest in each option to make a total of 11% return on his $20,000? Okay, so what do we know? We know that uh, the total is 20,000, right? Total investment. So write all the unknown out. What is the unknown that they, uh, what is the unknown that they want? How much does Paul need to invest in each option? So he has two options. 
want to invest at X percent. So we would say X among invest in invest for X percent interest. Um, so we have another amount that would be invest for 12% interest, but either we do not know neither one. So you can see we have two unknown. Can I write this unknown uh, in terms of X without using Y, without using a new unknown? Well, we know the $20,000 $20, is the total. So if I invest 8% for X percent, uh, in, in, if I invest X, X amount for the X percent in interest investment, the rest will be what? So, so let, let's just say this is $20,000. We put them this way. And then this part is among X. So obviously the rest is what? 2000 20000 minus x, right? You have, you're supposing this is um, 8,000, so the rest will be 20,000 minus 8,000. If this is 6,000, then it's 20,000 minus 6,000. So instead of saying, saying y, would you, we would use 20,000 minus x. So we have, you know, two unknown, both of them are unknown, but I write both of them in terms of x. Now we are to write an equation. The equation say that total investment should equal to 11% of this. So what is the total investment? So we would just pretend that we know this is X and we are earning X percent. So what would we earn? Our return will be X times X percent, 0 0.08. Of course, we write it as a decimal. And what about this? This second investment earning 12%. So we'll say this among, I don't know what it is, but for algebra, if you don't, even if you don't know it, you can still multiply it times 0.12. Right? So this is the first interest I get. This is the second interest I get. But totally, it should equal to 12%, 11% of the $20,000. So that would equal to $20,000, 11%, right? Because interest means you have the principal times the rate. So this is our equation. We pretend that we know what amount we have. We multiply the 8%. We pretend to know what the second part is. We multiply by 12%, and it turns out to be this, what we want. So now let's solve it. So uh, the first part would be uh, to remove the grouping symbol. So this would be 0.08x plus 0.12 times 20,000 would be uh, 12 times 200. So it would be 2,400 minus 0.12x, right? So it's kind of like distribute backward like this. And then this would be uh, 2,200, okay? And then we would uh, combine like terms. So 0.08x minus 0.12x is negative 0.04x. Um, and also we would minus 2,400 on this side, minus 2,400 on this side. So we have negative 0.04x equal to negative 200. So we are ready to divide by negative 0 0.04. So x would be 200 divided by negative 0 0.04. So it be 5,000. So the first part of the investment for x percent, you would invest 5,000. This 12% one, you invest, what, uh, 1,500, Be uh, 15,000, 15, because the total is 20,000.